Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend and welcome back to Dredge, where well, I've got the three fathomless flames that the crazy old bastard here at the ancient temple wanted. Um, you know what, I'm going to rest up because my stress levels are pretty high. And it's entirely possible that what's about to happen isn't going to do them any good. So we'll rest up until the morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I've already placed one of the three fathomless flames in the statues here at the ancient temple. I retrieved the other two from my storage. Fortunately, you can do that here. It's almost like the developers anticipated you needing to do this. And I will place the final one in the final statue. And I hope nothing completely terrible happens. Where's the crazy old priest? Oh, here he is. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lit the flames for you. Can I have that relic now? There it is, the pocket watch. That's the last relic that the collector needed. I think I'm going to stand well back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't really need to... Oh great, I do have to watch it. Fine. So he's basically burning himself alive. Well, I suppose you've got to have a hobby. Do I get the relic? I do. There it is. The pocket watch. Well, that's it. That's the last one. I should now return to the collector. But I do still have a couple of loose ends. Do you remember those stone tablets? There are four of them in total. I can't remember how many I've collected, but I know it's not all four. And they're useful for something, I just don't know what yet. So, there's at least some exploring left to do here in the Devil's Strand, and I can sort of vaguely remember what they looked like. They were sort of like statues of cultists. Different to the fish shrines where we've gotten equipment upgrades from in the past. I still need to watch out for these red fish, though. And keep an eye open for anything that looks suspicious. Because there's an old lighthouse here as well, and I'm pretty sure that's where you need to deliver the four stone tablets, because at the top of the lighthouse there was a receptacle for four somethings. So that's my working theory anyway. I spotted something that looked interesting, but I'm going to need packed explosives in order to get to it. You see there's something glowing over there. So let's blow this open rather than run the gauntlet of those red fish. And there's something here that needs fishing up. It's one of the stone tablets. Okay. I'm not quite sure where I got the idea that they were all located in uh, statues of cultists. Uh, but hey, it wouldn't be the first time I got it wrong. Okay. Well, that's one. And I think I saw something over here as well, which is back that way. Can I give those fish a nice wide berth, if at all possible? Oh, I don't think it's going to be possible, though. <laughs> no, here they come. Remember, you can always lose these things just by sailing over a steam vent. I didn't know that at the time. But accidentally on purpose I led them over a steam vent and they lost interest so yeah right see there's something in there I think I might need more explosives to get to it I'm gonna have to just motor past no wait they're on the other side of the ruins they shouldn't follow me Oh, all right, yeah, this is a lighthouse. It's not actually marked as a point of interest on the map, but this is it. I can't remember how many of these stone tablets I've got. But if you go up to the top... There. Well, I can place one of them. Uh, maybe I need all four. 
Well, I mean, I need all four to get the door open to see what's on the other side, and I know I don't have all four. So, let's go and find however many more it is that I need. I should probably stop and do a count at some point. I know I've definitely got two now. The one that I just picked up and the one that started the whole what the hell are these stone tablet things. Oh, here they come. I should probably... There we go. I'll just use the banish ability. It scares them off as well. And there's another one in there. Oh, bollocks. I've damaged the boat. I'm going to need explosives to get through. Do I have more? I do. Okay, cool. Right. Try not to break the boat getting in this time. And now we'll fish up what I'm pretty sure is another... Yep, it's another one of the stone tablets. So I now have at least three. When you get the first one, it tells you to go and see the trinket trader on Little Marrow. And he's the one who basically starts the quest to go and get all of them. So I know that I must have three. Three down, one to go. Unless I did pick up another one and it's in storage and I forgot about it. But probably not. I wouldn't be that lucky. You know what? Rather than guess, why don't I just go and find out? So let's check my storage. So there are the two that I just found. And I've got none in storage. That doesn't make any sense. Because I found one, which is the whole reason why I went to the trinket trader in Little Marrow. Because it told me to go and speak to him to find out what they were. And I've just found another two, so I should have three. Unless that sneaky fucking Russian kept the one that I took him. <laughs> and then I had to go out and find four more. I need to get to the bottom of this because the maths just doesn't add up. So back to Little Marrow and let's see the Trinket Trader and find out exactly how he's written me off. So, about these stone tablets. Wait, lays it on the table next to the others. Has he... Ah, yes, I do have another. Okay. Come on, old man, get on with it. Protect us, oh, guiding light. Yeah, the lighthouse. Okay, so I did have all four of them. The trinket trader was just warming them up for me. I mean, that's fine. I, I trusted him implicitly the whole time. Okay, right. Okay, well, that's uh, that's one final loose end. That's um, That's been... Uh, what is it you do with loose ends anyway? I'm running out of metaphors here. <laughs> resolved, I suppose. Yeah, that's as good a word as any. Well, not quite resolved, because I have to go back up to the Devil's Strand and actually apply these things to the lighthouse. Uh, let's hope I can actually remember where the lighthouse is, because it ain't marked on the map. I mean, it could have been marked on the map if I'd remembered to use the map markers that the game developers patched into the game several weeks ago now, but I'm crap, so... <laughs> oh, actually, I think I can see it from here. There's a sort of vaguely lighthouse-looking thing. I mean, it's a lighthouse. It's supposed to stand. Oh! Oh, no, it's all right. I thought that was the Leviathan again. <laughs> it's just a whale. <laughs> But yes, it's a lighthouse. It's supposed to stand out. It's fairly obvious where it is. So let's go and find out what these four stone tablets... Wait, what was that? Was that something? Oh, it's just a frilled shark. I don't care. I've got like $3,000 now. I don't need money for anything anymore. So, lighthouse. Where's the dock? There it is. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's just one of those humming monolith stones that only actually do something if you're shitting your pants when you touch them. So, uh, up to the lighthouse. Yes, there's a large socket. Here we go. So what's this? Okay. Number of dusty objects. What the hell is... Flame of the sky. Three and a half thousand lumens. For two slots. Holy shit. And some other stuff as well, but basically that's a snaggy light for the boat. 
The only problem I have with this is the range on it, because it's only 25 meters. Oh, hang on, is there anything in the cave now that I've activated the light? No, it's just murals on the walls explaining what the lighthouse is for. Okay, fine. Yeah, the only problem I have with this Flame of the Sky, because it is an amazing piece of kit, it pushes out 3,500 lumens for only two light slots. My fully upgraded boat has four light slots. So, this Flame of the Sky plus another two lights, I'm going to be pushing out vastly more illumination at night, but only to a range of 25 meters. And at the moment, because I've got this tungsten light occupying three slots and then another light occupying the fourth, it's not as bright as a combination of the flame of the sky and other lights would be, but illuminates everything out to 40 meters. And when you're zipping around as fast as this thing is, I want to see what's coming well ahead to give me time to avoid it. Let me just check those numbers. We're back at the uh, charred pontoon. Do I have any fish to sell? No. Oh, I do, of course. Yeah, the trawl net. Fine. I mean, $4,000, I don't need the money, but whatever. So, yeah. Let's ditch all this stuff into storage. Um, do I? You know, I don't think I've ever used the mixed bait. I might as well just sell it. So, yeah, that is 20 meters and 750 lumens. And that's 40 meters. That's the problem. 40 meter range and 3,000 lumen. I mean, three spots. But here's, here's the issue. I take this and I fit it here. And now I've got 4,250 lumens and I still have a spare light slot. So, I mean, money's no object. I'll fit this. 5,000 lumens. That's just a huge amount of candle power. But I now only have a 25 meter visibility range and I'm motoring along at nearly 124 knots. Ah, it'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> 5,000 lumens. Yeah, nice and bright. It just doesn't reach very far. Well, I guess I should head back to Blackstone Isle and turn this final relic into the collector and see what happens. So, here we are. Actually, while I'm here, because I've never actually been able to get into this workshop yet, it's always been locked. And it's still locked, so I have no idea what the point of that workshop is. It's always been locked this entire game. Let's go and hand this final relic in. So, I can hide the relic or I can deliver it. This is a very important choice. Tell me a little bit more about that book of yours, because everybody keeps telling me we should throw it back. Yeah, you know what book I'm talking about. Hmm. So where did you get that book? What do you mean I was there? Who is she? All right, give me that book. I'm gonna have that book. And this is where we find out I am the collector. It wasn't a doorway at all, it was a mirror. Had you noticed that every time we've seen the collector, Anywhere else other than here on Blackstone Isle, it's always been through a pane of glass. Whether that was a window, or we caught his reflection in something, or he was looking through the porthole of the boat. We were never actually talking to him. He doesn't exist. We were just as mad as a box of frogs, and we were talking to ourselves the whole time. We always had the book. All of those messages in bottles that were scattered throughout the game. They were all messages for us written by our wife, who we lost at sea, and the loss drove us crazy, and we've been determined to get her back at any cost. And that's why we're hunting down these relics, in order to perform some kind of unspeakable ritual. But the truth of what had happened, and what we were trying to do, well, it drove the old mare crazy. 
And it kind of drove us a little bit doolally as well because we fabricated this imaginary person, the collector, who was prepared to do what it was that we couldn't admit to ourselves that we needed to do in order to get our wife back. And the lighthouse keeper knew all along. The new mayor didn't. He arrived after everything went to shit. Okay. Uh, and the game warns you, not just once, but twice, that this is the point of no return. So we have to wait until night is thickest. Until the ocean is as black as it was all those years ago. Okay. I'm still not entirely sure what's going to happen here. But the light keeper's going to point the way. So we follow the light. Do what's right for her, my dead wife, and not the lighthouse keeper. And throw that book back. What the crazy old mayor has been demanding is done all this time. I'm not sure this is necessarily going to be a good ending. The only positive thing I can say is we are at least now dealing with the truth. You know, we're not hiding behind made-up characters in our own head anymore. How far away is this? Well, it's not that far. Sort of halfway between the Marrows and the Stella Basin. Right, here it is. Point of no return. We're going to throw it back. Yes, we are going to throw it back. For God's sake, throw it back. The book really doesn't want to go, does it? Uh-oh. Everything seems way too quiet. I'm just... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Here comes the Leviathan. <laughs> yeah. And the Leviathan takes us down to the depths. So we can finally be reunited with our lost wife. Um, and basically face the truth of what should have happened all those years ago. Instead of refusing to accept reality and constructing an elaborate fantasy in our own heads in an effort to try to win back our dead wife. This... Believe it or not, this is the good ending. <laughs> I mean, it's not particularly good for us. Uh, I don't think it's really possible uh, for the protagonist, whether you call him the fisherman or the collector, to have a good ending in this. But it's certainly a good ending for the rest of the world. Because the alternative, if you do give that relic back to the collector, who we've already established as actually us, we're just mad and talking to ourselves, the ending is very different. So let's see exactly what that involves. It's almost the same, at least at first. So this time we're going to deliver the relic. So I have the pocket watch. Recovered it from the devil's spine. And this is it. This is the last relic. The collection is now complete. He didn't think I had the guts or the determination to see it through. Well, he does know me very well, after all. <laughs> so, one final voyage. Yeah, ready to go. And once again, the game warns you, this is the point of no return. If there's anything else that you want to do prior to this point, then go and do it. Because once we continue from here, it's end game. Once again, we need to wait for the right time. The Collector is now aboard my vessel. And remember, we only ever see him in a reflection. That's where we need to go. Let's, uh... I mean, I, I don't really want to wreck the boat running into rocks on the way there, so... Let's put the lights on. Be careful navigating the narrows here. And we're nearly there. So this time we're not going to throw the book back. We're going to actually complete the ritual. And we have arrived. And note, you still only ever see the collector as a reflection in something glass. This time the porthole. So 
So first the pocket watch. Then the necklace. Then the ring. And finally the music box. Oh yes, the key into the music box. And then the music box and the key go over the side as well. It sounds like there's something big coming up from the depths. <laughs> this time, I only wish it was the Leviathan. Although first, it's her, my long dead wife, and she's still very dead. So we kind of got a wish, but she brought a friend with her. <laughs> Um, uh, oops. <laughs> that can't be good. Yeah, I mean, what's an old god or two between friends? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine, right? Maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> so we've doomed the world. Uh, by raising an old god from the depths, but hey, on the bright side, at least we've got our dead wife back. So, you know, there's that. And those, boys and girls, are the two possible endings to Dredge. This has been an absolutely fantastic game. I have had so much fun playing this. It's amazing how the developers have managed to make a game that can be so relaxing and yet so ominous at the same time. They absolutely nailed it. And plenty of you appear to agree, judging by the amount of angry comments I get any time I skip a dredge video. <laughs> so, <laughs> Although in future when I play a game like this, I think I'll have to start posting trigger warnings at the start. Uh, because I don't... I think it's fair to say I don't do things the most efficient way. <laughs> and, uh, but I know how you feel. Because I, I was watching Flambass play this on Twitch and I was yelling at the screen as well. No, no, turn your lights on. Yes, of course you've got lights, you know. You know, you all know exactly where I'm coming from. You've been following my Dredge series. Uh, but that's it. It's done. Um, thoroughly enjoyable series. And I'm really glad everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. We're going to be continuing with Aliens Dark Descent in the regular Saturday and Wednesday slots from now. Uh, which is also an amazingly good game, but for entirely different reasons. In the meantime, I hope you're all having a great weekend. I'm really glad you all stuck with me through this series to the end. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.